So this paper, uh, which is uh, written by Harrison Smith and myself, Roger Burrows, is called uh, Software Sovereignty and the Post-Neoliberal Politics of, of Exit. And essentially, it's an attempt to offer a, a critical analysis of a form of post-neoliberal uh, politics uh, that's emerged out of that awful melange of different positions uh, that's come to be known strategically as the alt-right. We focus in particular on a, on a, on a weird uh, uh, group of people uh, who have come to be known as, as neo-reactionaries who, um, although their ideas were, were a few years ago largely considered to be at the margins of, of political debate and frankly batshit crazy, have come to uh, centre stage within both American and increasingly within uh, UK and European politics. Um, near reactionary uh, philosophy, uh, sometimes also called uh, right accelerationism or, or more ominously the dark enlightenment, is the product of a number of writers, but especially uh, Nick Land, uh, who will be familiar, I think, to readers of this journal, uh, uh, lecturer in philosophy at the University of Warwick until the late uh, 1990s, who relocated to, uh, to uh, China uh, to write uh, books on tourism. And then uh, for reasons which uh, we, we explore a little bit in the paper, uh, becomes interested in the, uh, the outpourings of a, a blogger and computer programmer called Mencius Mulbug, uh, real name Curtis Yarvin, uh, who uh, presents a, a, a huge discourse uh, on his blog uh, called Unqualified Reservations, uh, which uh, Land strangely puts through a kind of a Deleuzean filter to produce this document called the Dark Enlightenment, which, if you like, becomes a touchstone for the neo-reactionaries um, on, the, on, on the web. Um, the other two people, other than Land and uh, Yarvin, who really form the foundations of neo-reactionary thought, are uh, Peter Thiel, the, the billionaire libertarian and sometimes author, who funds a whole series of startups which provide kind of prototypes of, of neo-reactionary thinking, funds uh, Yarvin uh, Mulbug um, uh, in his endeavors to uh, generate a, a re-decentralized internet uh, through a new platform called Urbit. And the paper explores in great detail the functioning of Urbit as if you like a kind of a virtual concomitant of another um, Teal startup uh, which uh, is uh, the Seasteading Institute, uh, led by uh, the fourth uh, character in, in, in the, the, the main characters in the neo-reactionary story. That's someone called Patre Friedman. Uh, uh, and that Friedman name, of course, refers to the, uh, the long uh, neoliberal dynasty of, of both David Friedman, his, his father, and his, his, his grandparents, uh, Milton and Rose Friedman, uh, who produced some of those foundational texts in neoliberal um, economics. Uh, the Seasteading Institute, uh, if you like, is a kind of a hyperstitious uh, thought experiment, the idea that we could build cities on the sea, uh, which wouldn't be democratic, but we could use architectures of exit, uh, 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 geography of movement, uh, to actually uh, regulate uh, governance, not through democratic means, not by voice in the, in the, the, the famous distinction by, by Hirschman, uh, but by exit. Friedman, Patrick Friedman, says at one point in his, his writings that, that exit is the, only, is the only human right. And it's that motif that exit is the only human right that goes to the heart of neo-reactionary thought and feeds into um, uh, the re-decentralization uh, uh, um, agenda around the production of Urbit. So the paper is an introduction to these uh, ideas, uh, essentially a form of kind of uh, a strange uh, Deleuzean fascism, if I could put it like that, obsessed also with a kind of a computationalist ontology. And we look through the uh, 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 marginal resources of seasteading and urbit at the, uh, the kinds of agendas that neo-reactionary thinking um, invokes and which uh, uh, together uh, through these architects of exit tries to think about the way in which we could finally uh, marketize governance, competition uh, between uh, micro states through patchwork states, either through the dynamic geography of the sea, through sea setting, or through this virtual concomitant in terms of the architecture of blockchain, uh, Bitcoin, uh, and Urbit type technologies. So that's what we explore in the paper. 
um, it's a, a critical take on uh, those neo-reactionary alt-right ideas, which have come more and more into the political mainstream. And, and, and actually, I don't think we can ignore, even if we would sometimes like to, uh, if we're gonna try and understand the cultural politics of what might, might be emerging as a, as a post-neoliberalism. Uh, so that's what the paper's about, uh, and we hope it's of some interest.